Hi everyone, welcome back. If you do not know, my name is Devin here on my channel. I cover all things beauty that includes makeup, fragrance, and designer here and there. If you think that is something you'd be interested in, then I hope you stay and subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to click the notification bell so you're notified every week when I upload. Today's video, we are talking about the brand new Victoria's Secret Chasing Paradise collection, you guys. Yes, I am so excited to be talking about this. Victoria's Secret got a new collection out. So, I mean, they have really been going crazy with the collections. If you guys want to hear my thoughts on this brand new collection, then just keep watching. And just so you guys know, I will also be doing the Midnight Heat Wave collection as well. So stay tuned. All right, so we're going to go ahead and start with the Vibrant Breeze fragrance. Um, this is supposed to be a sweet floral. I'm reading off the website because I hate reading these little descriptions. They don't really give you the notes. This is a sweet floral. It has notes of salty sand, coconut shell, and sandalwood. I wasn't really sure what to expect with these collections. To me, this one gave pretty much like a beachy collection. I think that's what, um, what is this called? Chasing Paradise. I think that's what this collection is. It's mainly like a beachy collection. Some of these I have smelled and some of them I have not. This is one. I love i love this one it smells absolutely amazing it definitely reminds me of some salty beach water like you're on the beach you're playing in the sand it gives like a mouth-watering effect this one is absolutely beautiful i can see people wearing these right now in spring all the way into summer these are going to be amazing very beautiful fresh aquatic beachy type of fragrance i don't really get coconut in here i mainly get a very salty slightly sweet clean type of fragrance it reminds me of and it is stunning y'all i think i said in my last video victoria's secret has really been knocking it out the park with their fragrances lately like they are killing bath and body works now if they can get better sales we will be all right because these are the three for 33 fragrances like i paid 11.99 for these but nonetheless they're amazing all right so this next one is seaside surf um this one is a zesty floral and it has yuzu sea salt flower and hibiscus and i actually do like yuzu i love citrusy type of fragrances oh this one is so pretty this one is definitely somewhat like the last one but this one is even more like salty but it has that yuzu in here i love the scent of that it's so so beautiful this is definitely waves like if you're in the water that first one you were in the sand smelling the water now you're in the water playing in the water this beautiful clear beach water it was stunning i love this one. Oh my goodness it's beautiful yeah like it's absolutely beautiful all right this next one now this one is the one i wasn't 100 percent sold on when i seen the notes but i'm like okay i'm gonna go with it this is a warm fruity fragrance and this has sweet mandarin vanilla milk and frangipani so let's go ahead and spray her this one is definitely milky kind of creamy it's not bad. I do get a hint of the mandarin in here, but I get something extremely milky and creamy as well. This is probably going to be one that I'm going to have to place on my skin and see how I feel about it. It's not a bad fragrance, but it's something in here that just isn't quite what I was hoping for. Like the other two smell very, aquatic kind of and beachy and this one is just a little bit different from that it's okay it's definitely not my favorite it's something almost florally in here mm, like a floral incense type of scent 
yeah i don't know i don't know that i'm sold on this one this is one i'm going to have to revisit so now to the last one this is island rush and this is a warm floral it has coconut cream tahitian gardenia and earthy wood so let's check this one out Why does it smell like a pineapple? Okay, this is a good coconut. Y'all know my love hate with coconut. I think I love like really sweet and creamy coconuts and this is giving like creaminess, like creamy coconut. Let me spray this again. I love the opening on this, it's so beautiful. Yeah, it's extremely creamy. Okay, so like this one and a Coral Bliss, they are definitely different from the other two. The other two are definitely more beachy where these are a little bit more milky, more creamy. But this one is a yes, this one is good. I get coconut in here for sure, but it's definitely a really nice creamy, creamy coconut. Get a hint of that gardenia in here, which is pretty. But this reminds me of like a drink. Like if you were on the beach and you had like a some sort of like pina colada, it doesn't exactly smell like a pina colada or anything like that, but something in this is giving me like a tinge of pineapple and coconut. It smells really, really good. Really, really good. You guys, this one is summer. It's like summer in a bottle, like. But all of these, I mean, you can wear what you want when you want. But all of these are definitely vacation scents. If you're going to a beach, lay out on a beach, be by the sand, just amazingness. Yeah, I'm really, I'm really digging these. All of these are really, really gorgeous. The only one I'm on the fence about is the Coral Bliss. This is the only one I'm not really feeling, even on the dry down, I don't really like this one. This is one I'm probably going to have to put on my skin, but it's not giving that frangipani, I think, is it's, it's throwing it off for me. But these are beautiful. Yeah. The other three are stunning, are absolutely stunning. My least favorite is the coral. One that I thought I wasn't gonna like the most is going to be Vibrant Breeze. Like for some reason, this one wasn't, you know, I didn't think I was gonna like this one. And I think this is my absolute favorite. Um, Coral Bliss is my least favorite. And honestly, I'm kind of torn between my second and my third pick. These are equally really, really good. So yeah, so that is it. That's my thoughts on this collection. Let me know if you guys picked up anything from this collection. And yeah, I will see you guys in another video. Bye.